let's study fractions. Do you know what a fraction is? Let's find out. A fraction is a part of a whole. It's usually less than a whole number. A fraction is made up of two parts, the numerator and denominator. For example, if we have a fraction 1 over 2, we say that 1 is the numerator while 2 is the denominator. So always remember that in a fraction, the number above the division line is called the numerator while the number below the division line is called the denominator. Now let's look at one half of objects. If I have an orange and I divide it into two equal parts, each part will be half. Each part of the orange will be called half of the orange. Now how do we write half? Half is written as 1 over 2. Half of 4 is 2. How do I know that? It simply means that if you have four objects and you want to get half of it, what do you need to do? You divide the four objects into two equal parts and that will give you two on each part. Half of six balls is three balls. Half of eight sweets is four sweets. Now let's see if you can do this on your own. Activity one, find half of these objects. Can you find half of two cups? How about half of eight apples? Okay, try it and let's see if you will get it. Now let's go to lesson two, one quarter of objects. If I have a square paper and I divide it into four equal parts, each of the parts is called one quarter of the paper. Now this is what it looks like. The paper is divided into four equal parts and each of the small parts is called one quarter of the paper. One quarter is written as one over four. If I have eight apples and I want to find one quarter of eight apples, what will I do? I'll simply divide the eight apples into four equal parts. And when I do that, I'm going to get two apples. So that means one quarter of eight is two. One quarter of 20 umbrellas is five umbrellas. One quarter of 12 mangoes is three mangoes. Now, can you find the one quarter of these objects? Can you find one quarter of four cups? How about one quarter of 12 books? Now, lesson three. What fraction of these objects is shaded? Now let's take a look at these objects. The first one is a rectangle. This rectangle is divided into four equal parts and one out of the four parts is shaded. So we said that the fraction of the rectangle that is shaded is one quarter because only one part is shaded out of the four equal parts. And the second one is a circle. The circle is divided into four equal parts. Again, one part is shaded. So the fraction of the circle that is shaded is one quarter. Next is a triangle. This triangle has two equal parts. Out of the two parts, one part is shaded. So we say that the fraction of the triangle that is shaded is half. The next shape is a rectangle with four equal parts. The rectangle has three parts out of the four parts shaded. So the fraction of the rectangle that is shaded is three quarter. 
All right, let's see if you can do this by yourself. Can you tell the fraction of these shapes that are shaded? The first one is a rectangle with four different parts. Out of the four parts, one part is shaded. Can you tell what fraction of the rectangle is shaded? And the second one is another rectangle with two parts. One out of the two parts is shaded. Can you tell what fraction of the rectangle is shaded? This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button and subscribe to this channel.